Now, one of the notorious places to get uh, oil leaks on your engine is in the intake. The main problem is you've got uh, the block material and then your head material. You've got three different areas of different surfaces. They're all mating together in one spot. Um, so these front and rear areas of the intake are places that are just notorious to leak. Sometimes you'll get a gasket set that comes with a rubber gasket or a material gasket with it. Our recommendation is to throw those away and always lay in a bead of silicone as the gasketing on the front and back. Just because, especially in a situation like this, you've got cast iron, you've got aluminum all matching together in one junction. You're going to get leaks there unless you get a good seal. So always come in and lay a silicone in. When you, when you lay it in, you want you want to start up in the gasket and then come down onto the block itself and uh, lay a generous bead as you're laying it. And as you can see, I, you go up into the gasket so that you have a good material to press down and give you a good seal in there. Okay, so we've got it laid in there. Um, there are several different uh, liquid gaskets you can use. Our recommendation is the right stuff gasket. It works really well and you're going to get a good tight seal on it. Okay, so now we're ready to put our intake on. One of the things to, that's key when you're putting, installing your intake is to make sure to do your best to let it lay down flat and even as it goes on. And you make sure all your bolt holes are lined up. Everything looks good. Okay, now we can start bolting it in. Make sure not to try and wipe out any of the extra gasket, just let it cure up. So before we install our ARP intake bolts, we are gonna put a little of their thread lube. Again, just helps us get a good true torque when we get ready to torque all of these bolts down. Okay, we've got the intake laid down, we've got the bolts snug down, so now we go back to the instructions that came with our intake and look at our torque sequence. We'll come in and we'll torque everything down and be locked into place. Okay, so as I said, we've got everything snug down. Now we are going to want to make sure that we properly torque down the intake before we then go back and put the valve covers back down because they actually lay over on top of the intake a little bit. Now for the intake, you are working with aluminum on aluminum. This aluminum head and aluminum intake. So it's not going to take a ton of torque. You're not going to want to over torque because it'll be easy to pull the threads out and have, your, have a real issue on your hands. With uh, the Edelbrox, they said it only torque these down to 25 foot pounds, which is a little more than just a snugging. Um, so, but the sequence is here. Here's our instructions. If you look here, it shows our Sequence, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we are, as with everything we've done so far, we're working from the center out. Make sure everything lays down nice and flat. Like we've done in the past, we're going to go a little bit at a time, snugging down as we go, making sure that we're not over torquing in any one area at any one time. So we'll get these torqued down and move on to the next step. Okay, so we've got our intake properly torqued down. Everything looks good. Now again, we're going to go ahead and torque down our valve covers. We'll be ready with this. And then the next step is going to be put on our harmonic balancer. Be right back. Okay, so the next thing we're going to install in the engine is our harmonic balancer. But before we do that, we're going to lube up the crank, snout, and the seal to make sure everything slides in easy, doesn't snag up, and cause us any issues. Again, we're using our Royal Purple Max Tough Lube. Again, just enough to make everything slide together easily. Mm. 
Okay, the harmonic bouncer we're using is actually PRW's Performance Quotient SFI Elastomer 8 inch model. It also comes in a 6 and 3 quarter inch model. Um, we also have the uh, PRW 12 point uh, harmonic balancer bolt. And this is our install tool that I'll show you how it works from Proform. It makes this job a whole lot easier. But first, before we put the actual harmonic balancer on, just like we did with the crank snout, we're going to put a little run of lube on the inside of the shaft. And then we'll do the same on the outside as well. All right, it's ready to install. Let me wipe my hands down. So a lot of guys, when they install these, they'll actually use a rubber mallet or something like that to press fit this in. We actually have the proper tool from Proform to do it. You're going to thread it into the snout. Get lots of bite on it. Then you're going to use the nut here to press fit it on. Once it makes contact with the harmonic balancer, we'll get our wrench and slowly press it into place. Okay, so that's to 50, so we'll take it up to 70 now. Okay, so we finished installing the harmonic balancer. The last thing to do is to actually put the timing pointer on. There's just a couple of bolts that we take out of the timing plate itself and then install it, and we should be good to go. So thanks for watching In the Garage with Performance Corner. As always, click subscribe below to get more videos like this sent to you. And as always, go to performancecorner.com to find a local store to help you with this project or whatever project you have going on. See you in the next episode.